Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about roof bars. Welcome to a new video. So as you can see, um, my Cascai does have roof rails, but I don't have a uh, roof bars. But from time to time, it can be handy to have roof bars on your car. Um, as you can see here, uh, when I bought something a little bit bigger than expected. Or when you want to bring some bicycles, or as I like to go snowboarding. Till now, I solved the problem like this. Just as you can see, it's quite easy. You fold the back seat, put in the snowboard, and then you fold back the seat. This works really fine, but this passenger has less space than the other one, of course. Until now, that worked fine, but now as my daughter is growing bigger, I needed a better solution. So I did some research to find roof bars. And as you know, there are different types of roof bars available. You have roof bars that sit on top, and you have roof bars that go between the, the um, roof rails. So on most websites, it's quite easy. You put in the details of your car and it shows automatically what kind of roof bars suit your car. So first I wanted to have roof bars available to um, carry about 100 kilos in order to bring uh, my bikes for all the family if, uh, if I wanted to. But then I found that these roof rails can only support up to 75 kilos. So it is useless to put on uh, roof bars that can take on more. So I opted for the Aguri roof bars that go between the roof rails. This way it is a way more discreet and it should make a less, uh, less noise as well. So I went to the website Dak Drage Expert and uh, I bought Aguri roof bars, uh, hacker ski or snowboard holders and the T adapters as well. So the installation should be quite straightforward. We put in the keys to remove this little uh, lock and we have this little tool to adjust. So here I can open the claw to install it on the roof rails and with this screw on the other side as well I can adjust the distance. You should adapt it on both sides that way it sits exactly in the middle of the of the both claws so, to align both sides just use uh, some re reference points so i use this one to measure exactly the same distance and when it's done you can easily refix the claw on both sides and then you just slide the bar exactly in the middle. I've got it well aligned and I've fixed just the last screws as well. Don't overdo, just make sure it is fixed and you can test it just by shaking a little bit to the car. So as you can see, I fixed both of the roof bars now. You can see they're quite solid. Now we're going to the next step and that's installing the um, ski or snowboard carrier on top of it. I will use the T adapters. We will slide just in there. The ski holders come with uh, two different systems to uh, attach them to the roof bars. Or you can fix them with this holder underneath or if your roof bars do have a rail you can uh, slide these adapters 
So you just slide those adapters in like, like this. Up. Put the ski holder on top of it. And you fix the other one as well. Fix them in place with those screws. So with the last one in place. Well, it's true, when the roof bars are installed, they are not that easy to get in. So I had to foul off a little bit. Other thing is, as this ski carrier is too large for the back of the Qashqai, I had to cut off a little bit as well in order to um, let this one sit as it should. So now you can fix the last screws and it holds up as it should. So with it fixed in place as well, we should close up this rail. So here it is, you should push it in like this and cut off what's left. And there it is, the final result. As you can see here I have the keys, one key for the that you usually only need when you install, uninstall the, the roof bars and I have another set of keys for the ski holders itself in order to make them thief proof well, in order to secure them in place so nobody can steal uh, the snowboards and we're good to go to the Alps so hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to share and to subscribe and like, see you next time, bye bye!